Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick review on this Roborock S8 Max V Ultra Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So I did buy this with my own money. I spent $1,800. Is it worth it? This will be my quick review. I'm also going to have a detailed review which will go through everything on the robot. So we're going to see how well it cleans these muddy paw prints on this kitchen floor and vacuums. Here's the base station. So on the right here, this is the dirty water tank. This is where all the dirty water goes when it washes the mop pads. And on the left side, this is where you're going to put the clean water. You're simply going to fill this up with clean water. It's going to fill the robot with water and solution. So on the base station, it's got a light here to let us know the status of the base station. Pull this cover off. Now this is the dust bag. It's going to auto empty everything inside here into this dust bag. This is where you're going to put the concentrated Roborock solution. And it's going to mix it automatically with that clean water and put it inside the robot so the robot will go around and it's going to put down some water and solution while it's mopping. So the S8 does a really good job of mapping your house. You can put no-go zones. We're going to have it clean the kitchen here. So under cleaning, we can do a smart plan, which uses AI. We can just use vacuum and mop. We got different levels of vacuum, different levels of water intensity, how many times it goes across. We can have it do mop only, vacuum only, or custom. So we're gonna go to turbo, we're gonna go to intense, we're gonna go two times, and standard pattern. And we're simply gonna tell it to start cleaning. Starting selective room cleaning. The first thing it's going to do is going to wash the mop pads. It even washes this little side brush that it moves in and out. Now what you're going to hear is it's going to be putting some water down there and then you'll hear a pump that's going to suck the dirty water up into the dirty water tank. And you'll hear a high speed brush going across the bottom of the mopping pad to help clean it. Now this robot does have a camera on the front that does help it with obstacle avoidance and it does take a picture, but you can turn that off in the app if you don't want it to take a picture. It also has LiDAR navigation, which that's how it maps your house really good. And so this is the Roborock solution. You're gonna put this in at a concentrated level into that, and it's gonna automatically mix it to the proper ratio with the clean water. Okay, it's gonna it wash the mop. Now it's gonna start cleaning. It's gonna undock itself. So it can raise and lower that mop pad and it uses sonic vibration to move that mop pad back and forth. And then it, and it, it can extend that little arm out there. And it's got good obstacle avoidance. It's sensing that cord that's hanging down and it's gonna avoid it and it will take a picture of it and let you know. And it's also gonna auto sense carpet and raise the mop pads. See, it raised the mop pads and it increases suction when it's on carpet. Again, as soon as it comes off that carpet, it's gonna lower the mop pad All right, here it is going back and forth on the mopping. It's doing a really good job of vacuuming and mopping at the same time. Again, those are really stubborn paw prints that are muddy. I got it, it's gonna do it twice. Yep, it's starting to get them. It's doing a good job on that carpet too. And then in the Roborock app, I can see wherever it's going and it shows me the obstacles. Like there's that electrical cord. It took a picture of it. Okay, let's just take a look at everything. It's been vacuuming up. Here's the dustbin. It's gonna auto empty this whenever it gets to the 
Yeah, it's been doing a good job. All right. It's doing a pretty good job on these muddy paw prints. Does a really good job with that side brush, getting right next to the carpet. And once it goes one way, then it's going to go the other way. Yeah, it's doing a really good job on those muddy paw prints. Returning to dock. Okay, so it's returning to the dock. It's going to wash the mop pad. There's that high speed brush that it runs back and forth to clean the mop pad. And it does clean it with hot water. So the base unit is able to heat the water up to wash the mop. and wash the mop pad. So it did a really good job of getting this carpet clean also. Yeah, it even washes that little side brush. Okay, so that takes about two minutes for it to wash the mop pad. Okay, now it's gonna empty out the dust bin. Yeah, it's not super loud either. And now when it's all done, it turns on a small fan that's gonna blow hot air onto that pad to help dry it. So it did a pretty good job with these muddy paw prints. I would definitely have it do this room uh, again, and I think it would finish up cleaning those muddy paw prints. Okay, this is my quick review. I'm getting ready to do, my very next video is gonna be a detailed review. Those, get, those videos get super long, but I'll walk you through step-by-step, step, everything in the app, everything to deal with the robot. My next video, this is the brand new Roborock Q Rebo Max V. These things are pretty awesome. So I got some, do a really nice comparison between the two. Now I was hoping, it definitely does a better job than the Q Revo Max V. I was hoping that it would sense, hey, there's dirt here. There's a setting in the app where you can tell, where I've got it on, that if it senses dirt, it'll go back, wash the mop pad, come back and re-mop this area. I was really hoping that for that to happen, but it didn't. And that might be because I didn't have it in Smart Plan. This uses AI. Now you you will not have this option right away. It takes, oh, it takes about a week, maybe three or four days of cleaning your house in order for this option to become available. So I did spend $1,800 on this. Would I spend $1,800 on this? Yes, but wait for them to go on sale. Again, I can give you the honest review. This was not sent to me, I'm not sponsored. I actually had to spend $1,800 of my own money on that. That is a ton of money for a robot, but it does have some pretty special features. But be sure and check out the detailed review where we see all the obstacle avoidance. Does it avoid fake poop? How well does it work? And so I've got the Narwhal. I've got the Dream L10S. There's the old Q-Revo. I'll be comparing it to the old Q-Revo. There's the old S8. Uh, they're going to heavily discount these. I'll let you know if it's worth the upgrade or not. Again, I bought these with my own money. A Dream L20, I got the Dream X30, I got the X40 coming, I just haven't gotten it yet. Got lots of Roombas, I got lots of Tinnacles, I do different Tinnacle reviews. Here we've got some Shark vacuum cleaners. Uh, Sharks really kind of falling behind the game in my opinion. They haven't really released a brand new one. I got the Detect Pro, it does an okay job, but boy things are changing fast. And Shark just released brand new uh, Hydrovax, Mess Master Hydrovax. Got the Dyson $1,200 robot vacuum cleaner, Roborock Q7. Over here, this is the this is the game changer. Dirt Devil, $99 from Walmart, has LiDAR navigation. And the app works amazing. So I just finished up doing a review on that. That's pretty cool. Here I've got the iRoomba i5. I don't really recommend it. 
Uh, the J7 is pretty good mopping. This is the J9 Plus with mopping again. These are decent, but things are just changing very fast. Also got a brand new Keurig K Mini Go. Keurig just released a brand new Keurig. And they also just released a brand new carpet cleaner. I've got their old stain striker. That's the Walmart one. That's the brand new one without the hose. I've got a comparison with those. Also got this Yeti uh, M12 Pro. I don't know much about this. I did buy it with my own money. It seemed pretty cheap for what it can do, but I'm pretty anxious to see what it can do. Again, $99 Walmart. So if you could go check me out over on Instagram, look for Just a Dead videos, look for my logo. If you could hit a follow there. I also do free giveaways there and on, on my Facebook group page. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the like and subscribe button and thanks for watching. So I also sell my own coffee brand. I got Just a Dead Simple Sip. It's a dark roast with uh, dark chocolate notes. It's in whole bean, ground coffee, and K-cup. And you can buy that at justadadcoffee.com. Be sure to check out my Instagram, Just a Dad Videos on Instagram. If you could, hit a follow there. Also check out my Facebook group page, Just a Dad Videos group page on Facebook. I do free giveaways there also. Could you get any goofier? Are you comfortable? <laughs>